And it says there's no such thing as a small business. There's only thinking like a small business. So we're actually Australia's first non-profit law firm. We're very different to other law firms. Um, traditionally, you've had government funded services like legal aid and community legal clinics that provide free services and then private lawyers that operate on a commercial basis. So we sit in the middle of that and provide a new way to provide family law services uh, where we charge for services, but the purpose of the fees is just to cover costs. So uh, the reality is we're about a third cheaper than a normal law firm. So we specialise purely in family law, uh, the really emotional areas of separation and divorce. Uh, and we come around people to help them find a resolution to those situations and be able to move forward in a, in a positive way with um, uh, independence. Probably the main driver was that we were very aware um, when we were going through the recruitment process that, that we weren't getting um, the normal level of interest and applicants and also the quality of applicants that we would normally receive. Uh, so that obviously as a business leader makes you look for other options um, and just realising that there are certain parts of uh, the roles that we have that don't need to be done at a physical location in Australia and realising that um, outsourcing is, is really a pathway for us. The business solutions we were seeking was um, being able to have our administrative support that's provided to lawyers provided remotely. So rather than having uh, the traditional model of a legal secretary in the office with our lawyers, actually being able to provide those administrative services remotely and virtually and having that done in a way where uh, there's no compromise on, on the quality or the responsiveness of those services. Well, People Partners has come at a great time for us. We started our relationship with People Partners last year when Australia uh, started to hit some interesting territory uh, in terms of the labour market and labour shortages. So People Partners has allowed us to navigate that and actually be able to find resources when we would normally be, be struggling with that right now. So that's probably been the, uh, the key way that People Partners has been able to help us. So I have a number of connections and colleagues in business leadership uh, that I regularly catch up with and one of those had been using uh, remote and offshoring solutions for a while and he shared with me about his success with using those and I had some dealings with Anthony in other realms of business and was aware of people partners uh, and really liked um, Anthony's approach uh, to uh, the service offering and the values of their company. So decided to reach out and, and have a chat with Anthony. For me, there are a lot of organisations that offer these services. And the biggest testimony to using People Partners was actually the way they run their business and the way they engaged with us in the early stages of us learning about them. They actually are an example themselves of how offshoring works well. So my view was that looking at the responsiveness of their team members, the level of professionalism of the team members um, that were responding to me, that if they can make this work, then that's something that we want in, in our business. Um, there's an awesome saying that uh, a lot of people would have heard, particularly if you're in um, the small to medium sized business, and it says there's no such thing as a small business, there's only thinking like a small business. And I think the biggest benefit that we've uh, had at New Way is that it really does provide a shift and elevates you to thinking at a whole different level because 
instead of seeing yourself as a small business, you have team members that are now geographically spread. And in some ways, I think, you know, there's this evolution of the small business multinational. If you want to, let's create a new term here, that small businesses can have this multinational perspective. And I think it's a really beautiful thing to be able to bring to small business because you bring diversity, you bring inclusivity, and you bring this um, exchange of knowledge and ideas that normally wouldn't come. And, you know, I think as all individuals, there's this love of culture and travel. And in some ways, offshoring and, and um, remote solutions actually bring all these things that we love about sharing culture uh, and travel and connections with people outside of our geographical reach. And it's such a beautiful thing. And I think it's something that you can only actually experience once you've done it at a workplace. But um, there's just a lot of beauty that comes comes from it.